Right, so this is Misty Island. A thing I'd like to commend this game on is the fact that the load times are super quick. Ooh, this place gives me the creeps. And trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz. As I was saying, the load times are super, super fast. Even on the PS2, I've noticed that the load times are incredibly fast, which is great. I do like that. Now. We do have to go collect a muse, and as you can see over there, little tail wagon, can you see it right above Jack right now, over there? Little tail wagon, that is of course the muse we have to collect. Now, I have done this once before, I doubt I can do it ever again, but I'm going to try and catch it before it can even try and escape. This is going to be difficult, I need to use the roll jump and try and catch it. This is going to be great, I probably can't do it, but you know, I'll give it a shot. Alright, so I'm going to try and climb up here without it even moving. Um, Okay, there it is, look. Now, if I'm fast enough, I can make this. Well, maybe i got to avoid this guy first. Right, um... Come on, please don't kill me. Um, I'm getting, like, completely whacked, but I'm not losing any health. That is weird. Alright. Okay. Mm hmm Let's try this. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to do this. Uh, no, I hit, the, I hit the fucking brick, then I... Oh, God, of course I did. Well, there you go, then. Almost made it. If I didn't hit the brick, I could have done that. And I'm now getting stuck on this wall here. Oh, and great, he just like turns around. Wow, what reaction times. Right, maybe, if I'm quick enough, I can roll and land on its face right now. Uh, no, of course, it does a spin and, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, I wrote some comments on a few videos, like I've watched some speedruns of this game. Yeah, I watched a speedrun of this game like a long time ago, before I even played the game. Because uh, that's another thing, I didn't actually play this game as a kid. I, I recently played this game like, oh my god, Daxter, you just shut up. Um, I played this game like last year. That's the first time I ever played this game. I played it once and I beat, beat it 100% the first time playing through. Um, oh shit, of course I just dropped there. And of course the camera is going all funky. There we go. Um, yeah, I was trying to say, I only played this game once and I beat it 100% because obviously, oh, let me just say that again because that was really, really bad. I beat it 100%. Wow, I sound like a, so I sound like, I was going to say I sound like X Special. If you know who X Special is, he talks like that all the time where he like combines four words into one and it's like, oh my god, can't stand a word anyone's saying. <laughs> anyway, that's the point. Right, let's go catch the little Mew ship. Um, I'm trying to get these like precursor robes as I'm going, so it's kind of hard to catch him. But I read some comments and people said that the Muse is extremely hard to catch sometimes. And yes, it is. And of course, please don't go... Oh, brilliant. Of course I do. God, I'm showing this game off in such a good light, aren't I? Right. If I hadn't have fucked up early and bashed my face into that little um, stone there, I'd have caught this thing. Which, uh, it's not easy to do, but if you practice, you can do it, I'm sure. And I have not practiced. This thing's going to whack me in the face, no doubt. Please don't do that, though, because I'd not like that. I will actually die, because I've only got one hit left. Brilliant. There's also another move I wanted to show off. Uh, I've known this moon, uh, this moon. I've known this move for quite some time, but I never found a use for it, and I don't think I ever will. Right, I'll try and catch this little shit. Come on, come on, come here, you little dick. Oh, my God. Where's it gone? It, like, clipped through the floor or something? Oh, there it is. Of course it is. I'm going to get killed, aren't I? Come on, you shitter. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Oh my god, look how close that was! Come on! Jesus! This is such a gimp. What the fuck? I'm on it! I'm like right on top of the thing! I am right on top of this little shit! Oh my god, this is hell. This is absolute hell. Ah, there we go. That took far too long. But anyway, we got it. So, I was about to talk about the loading times. Um, I've noticed on the PS2, the loading times are exactly the same as in the PS3 version. Which is great, actually. You'd have thought the PS3 version would be slightly faster, because it's like a remaster. Um, but that's all it is, it's a remaster. And it's just like, you know, every... Well, I say every uh, bit of the graphics. Uh, all the graphics, pretty much, are uh, just up upscaled, pretty much. And that's about it. So, there's actually... Um, different types of uh, eco here. We've got some red eco. Um, uh, where is that? There's some red eco around here somewhere. And that will actually increase your strength, which means you can like punch things and things like die quicker, which is great. Uh, that's uh, pretty useful. I don't really know when we have to use that again. <clears throat> Probably later on in the game. There's a red eco down there. You see that little fireball? That's red eco, and that allows you to like punch over these um, these like bones really easily and really quickly, and you can take on these big badass dudes uh, with relative ease. Right, I do believe there is a uh, scout fly around here somewhere. Of course, I die. Well, uh, better you than me. 
you know, I can easily just cut these deaths out, but you know, I kind of like to show you that, you know, I will fail a lot, and there you go, now you can understand that I'm not very good at this game, because I didn't play it as a kid, and I'm sure a lot of you people are watching have played this game as a child, and you're like, oh my god, you're so bad, and I, I know, I know I'm bad, but that's not the point of a let's play, I think, I don't think the point of a let's play should be to show off how good you are, uh, that'd be like a speedrun or a guide or something, or a, maybe a, a walkthrough, in that case, then, yeah, you are showing every single thing off in a very specific order and, you, you know, doing things properly and especially speedruns, uh, that's, like, where you want to show off your prowess, uh, like, your knowledge of the game. Can I kill this thing? Um, I think it just ducked and covered. Can you pop back up, please? Unless, like, there we go. I think you kill it like that, can't you? There we go. Fantastic. Right. There's a move I'm going to show you, which I, I found out a long time ago, but I never found a use for. If you jump, press square, hold X, and keep going, you can actually continuously do the little slam. You can continuously do that. Never found use for it, but you know, uh, you can just keep going like this. Keep walking over here, or like flying over here. Of course, I just dunk my face into the little um, pile of... Oh, I was going to say something else there. Uh, pile of milk. There we go. Uh, dunk my face into that. Yeah, okay. Right, so that move there, um, never really found a use for it, but, you know, could possibly use it with something. Maybe if there's a few boxes nearby, I'm not sure. Right, so this is Red Eco, we're gonna get this and we're gonna punch a lot of shit in the face. Red Eco makes your attack stronger! <laughs> Right, so you don't actually need it, but it's pretty useful. Did I, like, not pick up that one there? Huh. Weird. Unless I did, it just didn't give me much. Hmm, whatever. Right, take this down. There we go. So you don't actually need it. It just makes your attack stronger. Like I say, it's not essential. Now, I'm going to try and get this because, you know, why not? It's right here. I was going to go through there, but that sort of unlocks you into a... It unlocks you? It gets you into a new area. It, un it unlocks a new area, and it gets you into a new area. Wow, I almost fell on that. Oh, for God's sake, man. Ooh. Now, I could just go and get this um, blue eco over there and like collect these uh, precursor robes. It'll be easier. And uh, recently, I've been playing Uncharted 3. Now, Uncharted 3 is made by Naughty Dog, so I, I feel that I'm allowed to talk about that game when it comes to Jack and Daxter, because, you know, it's made by the same people. Um, well, I say same people, I'm sure a lot of them have left and moved on to bigger and better things, no doubt. So, we do need to get some blue eco. Yeah, okay. I was about to say that. Well, I was actually saying that, Daxter. I was going to say about to say that. No, I was actually saying that, and then Daxter cuts it. Of course he does. Right. So, I've been playing Uncharted 3 recently, and um, there are actually, I want to say, a lot of similarities in um, the Uncharted series and Jack and Daxter. Being that it, the first game was very jungle oriented, like uh, you know this game is, like Jack and Daxter 1, the Precursor's Legacy, um, is very jungle oriented, you know like um, it's sort of natural landscape and you know there's all sorts of different things going around, different creatures and different types of enemies and you know it's just like a treasure hunt pretty much, you're hunting for these power cells and precursor orbs and you go around the jungles and you explore new areas and that's what Uncharted 1 is like. You know, you're in a new area, uncharted lands, very jungle based, you're collecting things, you're a treasure hunter and that's what it's like, very similar in a, in a sense. You know, if you think about it on like a basic scale, the games are very similar in the same sense. Now Jack 2 is a little bit more gritty and a bit more like dark, which Uncharted 2, very much the same. Things are a little bit more gritty and dark and you know, a bit more dingy. Right, if you collect this blue eco here, we can actually go through this door, which is what we're going to do. And then I'm going to continue talking about Uncharted, of course. Watch your back! We remember what happened the last time we were here! It's an ambush, Jack! It's an ambush! Right, so all you got to do is just take on these little monsters here. All you got to do is keep spinning. Red Eco will, of course, power up your attacks, which allows you to actually... I think you gain um, spin range, which is good. Also, you want to keep picking up these green healths, these green Ecos, because, of course, I don't want to die again. Which I probably will at some point, but, you know, there you go. That's just how this game is played. Uh, well, for me, anyway, I like to die, as you know. Uh, well, I don't like to die, but I, I'm going to die. Oh, my God. There we go. Um, sometimes your um, spin will actually like refresh itself. I don't know what causes that, but it like it spins and then you have like a little recovery time. As you can see there, there's like a little recovery time when you spin. Sometimes you can spin instantaneously again. I'm not sure if that's just a timing thing. Now, I'm gonna show you this because this will actually come into play in Sentinel Beach, but you can just stand next to one of these crates like this. And sometimes 
Uh, well, actually, I think I can... Can I not blow this up? Uh, no, I can't. Right. So, um, depending on your range, you can actually get these little, like, um, bombs to land right next to these things here. Uh, I think if the guys are aggroed on me, and actually I walk towards the bomb, like this, uh, oh, I walk towards the bomb, make him aggro on me, and you walk towards one of these things, sometimes they will shoot the bomb on you, and it'll, like, land next to here. This has happened before. Um, it might not happen again. Maybe I can get it to happen. Um, nah, he's just constantly shooting in the middle. Maybe if I just run over here. Hello? Guy, shoot me. Um, nah, he's not, he's not bothered. We're gonna take control of that little thing later on anyway. The little cannon. So we're gonna actually shoot the little boxes, which contain precursor orbs, which is alright then. What's around here? Ah, nothing around there. Okay, let's go get the power cell in, shall we? Tonight's featured event. I don't know what that's for. Um, no idea. Maybe just get like a power cell or something. No clue. Right, so through here we're going to have a lot of goonies and some precursor orbs. Sorry I was a bit silent for that, of course that requires some intense concentration, no doubt. Uh, I just didn't want to die there, because obviously these guys can just keep swinging and kill you in a few hits. Oh, there's that one. Can't miss these precursor orbs, can we? There is actually a drop. I'm sure there's a drop down here. Is it down here? Yes, it is down there. I don't think it's actually in this specific... Oh, maybe it is. <gasps> I know there's a drop, and there's some actual uh, precursor orbs down here, like these here. These are the ones I missed a long time ago. I just want to make sure there's no other ones around the corner here. You have to explore in this game. That's the thing I like about it. You have to explore. Much like the Uncharted games, once again. Uncharted 2 was very, like, dark and gritty. And it was more serious. It was fun, of course, but it had a more serious tone to it. With the fact that, you know, you're always in constant peril and betrayal. And who was, who was like, your actual true friends and shit. Like, that type of stuff. And, um, obviously, Jack and Daxter 2, or Jack 2 as it's known, didn't really have that sort of betrayalness. Betrayalness? Betrayal? I don't know what the, what the uh, word for that would be. It didn't have the betrayals in Jack and Daxter 2, I'm sure. I haven't really played Jack and Daxter 2. I saw a... Oh, or Jack 2, sorry. I sort of like, um... I didn't really enjoy it too much. And I know that's going to be, like, blasphemous for some people. Like, oh my god, how can you love Jack and Daxter 1 and not love Jack 2? Um, I just found it to be... It strayed away for what I really liked, you know? It's... I, I enjoyed the whole charm of Jack and Daxter 1. Being that you're in a jungle, bright and vibrant colours, and, you know, the snow areas later on, spoiler alert, and, oh my god, I love snow so much. And I just think that Jack and Daxter 2, or Jack 2, I'll just call it Jack and Daxter 2, it's much easier that way, um, sort of strayed away from the whole, like, um, nature feel, and the, the whole, like, islands and villages, which I really enjoy. It strayed away from that, and it was more like... You know, um, a cityscape, and it was dark and dingy, and you had a gun now, or, or guns, I should say, and it was just like, eh, I, I kind of like that. It, it's an interesting take, because I'm sure that Jack and Daxter is more geared towards teenagers, and I can understand where they're going with that. It's like, you know, you want to appeal to the teenagers, and what are teenagers like? They like guns and violence and, you know, dark storylines and stuff. Yeah, whatever. A bit like Batman, you know, Batman was, like, kiddie-friendly. And all of a sudden, one day, you know, Tim Burton takes a hold, and then everything's all dark now. And it's like, oh, uh, you know, it, it's it's interesting. I like the dark Batman. I don't get me wrong. I, I didn't like the original Batman, but um, that's not the same thing, you know. It, just because it's geared towards children doesn't mean that it's kiddie. You know, what I mean, this this game is by no means kiddie. For one, it says the word crap. Oh my god, children should not be hearing that word. Oh my god. But anyway, um, yeah, another thing to do with um, Uncharted is the fact that Nathan Drake says crap quite a lot, and so does Daxter. I don't know how many times Daxter says it. I think he says it like three times or something, or maybe just twice. Um, but I know he says it in the intro cutscene, so there you go. And this is our first time using one of these things. I don't know what they're called. If you do know, please let me know. Um, we're going to call them the hover bike because that's essentially what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to bump into these enemies. Oh, there we go. Actually, is this called the Zoomer? Hmm. I think it might be called the Zoomer. 
So what we're going to do is hit these enemies like this and just keep bonking into them. Uh, I think they actually might follow a pattern. Uh, they, they keep dropping down like this, as you can see, and they'll keep dropping down and flying up, which is very annoying if you just get to the end of their little cycle thing, and they just fly away. Of course, we don't want that. This guy over here, can we get him? I think there's actually five guys. This will be the fourth, of course, unless this... Oh, you dick! Head. Shred the lurkers, Jack. Not the mines! Rule number one, always avoid the mines! Thank you for that, Daxter. I will always avoid the mines. Just because you've told me to. No other reason than you told me to. Right. Um, so as you saw up there, I didn't actually lose any health because I had 50 uh, green eco. As you can see, you know, 50 green eco will actually give you a health point if you lose a health point, which is very nice. Oh, of course, I always miss that last one. No idea why. I think I, I sort of approach it too slow all the time. I think that's mainly because I'm just a bit, like, cautious. I don't want to fly too far and bash into the wall, which of course doesn't kill you. Uh, or hurt you in any sense, but there you go. Maybe there's actually six guys. <laughs> or maybe there's seven. <gasps> I have no idea. There's a few guys. Um, this guy's going to drop soon, hopefully. If you press R1, by the way, do a little hop, and that's how you can jump over specific things. Hold X and you can, like, fly faster. Here we go. There's the precursor rope. Um, the precursor rope? That's a power cell, mate. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's a power cell. Hold X and you fly, like, um, I get. Is it flying? I'm sure. Yeah, this is flying. I'm sure it is. Hovering. And you hover faster, like this, when you hold X, which is a bit weird. You know, X to, like, go faster hasn't really been used in a lot of games, like, ever since the PS3 was released, I think. Um, with the fact that R2 is usually your, like, acceleration. Pop goes the lurker. Yes, it does. Good! You stopped all the mind-dropping lurkers! They've been threatening the waters around our village for weeks. Bring your zoomer back to the chance pad, and I'll teleport it back. There we go. It's called a zoomer. And there's actually um, a teleporter over there. Oh, amazing. So this Zuma, is it the same one in, like, all the missions then? So is Kira, like, taking the Zuma and just, like, teleporting it around? I thought they had, like, different Zoomers. Can I make this? Of course I can. Right, so, let me just make sure there are no precursor orbs around here, because we don't want to miss them, because knowing me, I will miss them. Just make sure. Take a little gander. Ah ha ha! Here we go. Kind of sounded like um, what's his name from Jurassic Park? You know, the first Jurassic Park. He's like, oh, what's his name? Come on, I know his name. Oh, um, Christ! I can like, I can like almost say his name in my head, but I can't say it out loud. I just can't remember his name. He's like, ha ha ha! He didn't say the magic word. Ha ha ha! Like on the computer when he like hacks everything. Ah, oh, that was fun. Right, um, if I remember his name, I'll of course tell you. Although, if you know his name, please let me know. Because I might forget completely about what I've said. I've said a lot of things, so there you go. Right, now what was the next thing I needed to do? Oh yeah, I needed to like climb. Oh, that's not what I needed to do. Brilliant. So, we can check our like um, stats real quick. Miss the island, we need two more to go. Return the muse, the sculptor. Actually, no, we need three more over here, right? Three, seven scout flies, we've got five. Um, we need how many more? Holy shit. Alright, so... We need, um, how many was that? I didn't really see. I, I, was that like, what? I didn't, I didn't see. Well, I did. I think it's like 40, 42 did we need? I wasn't really looking. Uh, I just saw that we needed quite a few more than we actually have, which is always good. Oh, yes, of course. If I'm quick, I can actually um, like get this scout flow up here. There we go. I was going to say, I can get it with um, my blue eco, because blue eco will actually destroy scout fly boxes, and uh, it'll actually get the scout fly as you destroy it, which is nice. Can I destroy this? I don't think I can. It looks like I can. Ah, such a cock tease. Right, so I do believe we, um, can I make this? Oh, do you think I can? Oh, yes I can. Of course I can. I'm that good. I'm skilled. Now, I do believe we need to get up there. You see that? Well, these barrels are coming down. Donkey Kong's throwing those barrels down there. We do need to get over there, and I forget how to do that, which is always good. Hmm. Oh, yes, I remember. I do remember. We need to go all the way around again, which is going to be good. Um, you know what? I'll just, like, teleport us there. Okay, so we're back on the ship, and just behind us over here is actually the precursor orbs I got with the blue eco. That is, of course, completed now. And down here is the place where we was on the zoomer. So there you go, that's your point of reference. All we've got to do now is climb on top of the ship, and we can get to Donkey Kong. 
Now, Donkey Kong is a bit of a dick, and uh, he's actually automated this time. He's not actually a real person, so we can't actually take him out. He's just like uh, a bunch of wheels and shit. Over here is just some, like, uh, green eco, which uh, is nice. It's a big, big green eco boost, which is good, because if you do get hit, then you can just get that. And that's a free health. Of course, you don't want to get hit. Every, like, third one is a bouncing one, which is very annoying. Scout fly over here. Does that mean we only need one more? Yes, it does. Actually, no! That was, that was it! That was the one more! Oh my god, fantastic! I am buzzing indeed! Right, let's wait for this to go past and then we can climb up here. Now, there are some precursor orbs there. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm not very good at this. Uh, I was never any good at this in Crash Bandicoot either. Um, I forget which level it is, but I know that in Crash Bandicoot there is a level in which barrels keep coming towards you and I could avoid them on a very consistent basis, but that doesn't mean I'm good at avoiding them, you know what I mean? I, th I think that's a, a weird way of putting things, and I've always found this to be interesting, how I can be not very good at something, but make it look like I'm good, you know what I mean? Like this game, sometimes I might make it seem like I'm good, but being the fact, oh, being the fact, is that a word? Hmm. Uh, considering the fact, there we go, that I've only played this game once, really, and Sometimes I'll do things properly, but I'm like, oh my god, that's actually pretty good. I think it's just the fact that one, I get lucky, or two, I just understand the game's controls, and maybe I'm just getting good at, at some random points. Whatever, it's kind of hard to explain. Ooh. I have to admit, I'm impressed. You two didn't screw up. Now that the lurkers can't open that silo, they can't flood the world with Dark Eco and cause untold destruction. Wipe that ridiculous grin off your face, Daxter. The two of you have plenty to do. Get on with it. Get some! Get some! <laughs> Alright! Treasure! Right, so all we're gonna do is hold down X and then just keep, like, releasing the bombs. And these are our precursor orbs down there. Surprisingly, I got them all within like the first shot. Usually I miss. Brilliant. See, that's what I mean. You know what I mean? Usually I will miss that. I played this level a couple times now. I play this like um, just a few times, just in practice runs, just to make sure I, I like know what I'm doing. Because uh, otherwise I'd be like running around in circles and just be absolutely thick. I believe you can actually just jump off here and then do a little spin before you land just to like sort of cancel your fall animation, which of course cancels fall damage. There you go, pro tips. Um, you know, I, I have watched a few speedruns of this game, and people just, they play so out of their minds. It's ridiculous. And they don't even play for like 100%. Some people do play for 100%, and some people don't. There we go, Mr. Island. 150 out of 150. Those precursor orbs just like flew by. I didn't even realize I needed them. Um, what else? Uh, we need... How many, what do we need now? Let me just make sure. Actually, we're done. We're done on Mr. Island. Holy shit, that was quick. Usually this takes me like 500 years to do. Wow. It's sort of taking me like 20 minutes or something. Brilliant. All right, so let's go back to Sandover Village and give the sculpt to his muse. Of course, he'll be very grateful and give us a power cell. And then we can head off to Sentinel Beach, which is right past his house. Ah, oh, how convenient. See what I mean about those load times? That is so good. Good. You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Hang on. Didn't I get those? Those precursor robes up there that like she just showed, Kira just showed on like the little cutscene there. Did I not get those? Ah! Huh? Did I not? I don't think I did then. Wait. Did it like not save or something? I'm fairly sure I got those. Hold on then. Because this actually would count towards them. Um... Look! There they are! I'm sure I got these. Huh. Maybe the game didn't save. Even though I saved it. Uh, 
Okay then, like I say, this is considered Fire Canyon, but it's not. I'm... What? Weird. Right, let's go give the mules back to the sculptor then. Oh, the muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. Whoa, totally gnarly, bro. There we go then. I wanted to do that little surfer voice for like a long time, and I thought maybe I could like do like a whole scene, like a whole level where I do like the the, the sculptor's voice, or like the the totally gnarly surfer bro thing. But then I decided against it. Right, we're gonna head off into Sentinel Beach. <laughs> 